Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 32 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of the thermodynamics. So we can see in this PV graph, we have two points, point 1 and point 2. The pressure for point 1, point 2 is given, volumes for point 1, point 2 is given at zero. First one, we need to draw the process. Uh, it is uh, isobaric expansion from the point one to point two. Now question, what is isobaric expansion? The pressure is constant, right? So we just connect the pressure constant horizontal. So connect one to two horizontal, this is called A. We are done. B, we need to find the work done by the gas and change in internal energy in the process A. So easy, right? See. The work change, work done from A A part is P times delta V. From this picture, we can see the pressure is given 455 Pascal there. And the pressure changes is 8 minus 2, just 6 meter cube. Then we can get the work done at zero. Agree? Now, next one, we need to find the uh, internal energy change. So internal energy change, as we know, we can find it in this function. So in this function, you can say nr dt. Uh, how can you find the dt temperature changes? We don't know. We only know how the p and the v changes, right? Luckily, we have the ideal equation function PV equal to nRT. So in this way, we can find n, we can replace nRT, nR delta T as P times delta V, right? See, how can we do that? We can see we write nR, nR there, not delta T. How can you write delta T? Delta T is P times delta V divided by nR. Because in this process, P is a constant, so it does not change, and it's n, is a constant, no change, r is constant. So now delta, only delta v can change it because it from 2 changes to 8. In this way, you can see nr, nr can cancel. So you get it is 3 over 2 p times delta v. Now p is given, delta v you can find it there. So you get the answer there. Right? So c part asks you to draw the two step process which tell you. I saw thermally the temperature will not change from 1 to 2. So from 1 to 2, the temperature will not change. So this is a curve as we learned in our test book, right? Yes. And then it uh, followed by I saw volume. So this one, the volume is a constant increased to the origin point. So this part is B and B. So this is the temperature will not change, volume not change. So now it looks like we need to find the, this point. This point we already know the pressure. The volumes is 8. Can you decide its pressure? Yes, because we know it is a PV equal to nRT. Agree? So initially at this point, we can find that P is 455 given at 0, V is 2, and finally you can say it is 8. Can you find the PF? Sure, because P, you can see in this case T is not changed, so PV equals to a constant. So we have this function. In this function, you can get the PF, right? So after you get the PF, it is just a little bit above 100 at this point, so you can write draw this curve and then vertically up to origin point. Next one, find the change in internal energy of gas for the two steps of process B. So it looks like we need to find the in internal energy for the B part, right? So we can see the total energy is conserved. Do you agree? And the energy, internal energy change for A process equal to the in, internal energy change for B process, right? So 
Directly, we can find internal energy change for the B is zero. Thank you.